Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Brought to you by BPAL Picks. Actually, it's not brought to you by BPAL Picks. It's BPAL Picks Edition, where we give you NHL picks daily. And I'm going to give you some quick picks here in a couple minutes. But if you can hold out, we got a few things to talk about first. Um, First of all, I have a show from 3 to 5, 5 days a week, weekdays, from 3 to 5 Eastern. Gotta go check it out. There are some killer people over there. We do uh, picks there. You can tell us what your picks are, and then you win fabulous prizes. You tell us what the score is, uh, what who's going to win, and if you get the score and who's going to win right, we all do the Perlo dance. And it's much fun. Frolic, there is frolic. Plenty of frolic. If you if you have any allergies to frolic, you probably don't want to be there. Um, but yeah, we look at the games from the night before. We talk about all the games. We talk about any trades that happen. We talk about, yeah, you know how it is. Who's going to win the awards, blah, 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 everything. Awesome for two hours a day. Go check it out. It's amazing. Also... Um, another thing that I like to do is I got together with the steelflyers.com crew. Steel Flyers, go check out steelflyers.com. It's freaking awesome. But it's a network that pays me to do the show. So I and they there's uh, Sports Fanatic News. He just did a freaking killer awards show with E Money from uh, Off the Money podcast. You want to check that out? That's uh, Projo, Sports Fanatic News. Go get subscribe to that. With him and a bunch of other people, I did a Western Conference with Delhi. Projo, was it Projo? Yes. He, uh, Steel Flyers and me. If you go on my channel right now, we did a West Division trade thing show that was like awesome. And uh, if you go on there... Yeah, go on there and check that show out. It was great, too. Anyways, we're going to get into picks from tonight or last night, which would be the what? 23rd tonight, and then we're going to go do our picks for the 24th. Here's your quick picks right now, okay? These are quick picks. Then we're going to get into uh, what we did for last night, how well we did. And then we're going to get into why we make these picks. And remember, these picks can change. So I highly recommend you go to the Patreon uh, in the bio or in my uh, description. Hit the link and sign yourself up and I'll give you a free month. Just say I came from YouTube. Okay. But here we go. Flames in reg over six. Wild in reg over five and a half. Penguins, puck line, over six. And I would consider over two in the first period on that one as well. Kings, money line, over five and a half. Jets, money line, under six. Now, my Jets one there, there's a big question mark. Uh, and uh, if you watch the rest, I'll tell you what that question mark is. But uh, it's a little bit of a question mark on that one. So... Okay, let's go look at our picks from last night. All of you that wanted the quick picks, off you go. Thanks for coming in. We love you. You don't have to watch everything. We know we're busy people out there. But you really should find the time. I don't know. You might have to reorganize your schedule a little bit. Tell them you're not going to work. What's the worst that's going to happen? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do maybe I don't know okay let's go to last night's picks or tonight's or whatever the 23rds okay first one I hummed and hawed I swear to god I sat here for about a half an hour meandering over this game and then I found out that Dridger was in net for Washington or for Washington for Florida and I like Dridger Drigger why did I just call him Dridger? It's Drigger. The D is silent, and for some reason, and I don't know why, it's Drigger. 
Anyways, I ended up picking Florida. But my bigger bet was on the under, and we got it. So we're up on that play regardless. But that Hawks team, I'll tell you, that Lankanen kid, uh, uh, today I took a little time off from watching hockey, which I don't do too often. I watched the show, a little series with the, the little lady. So I didn't actually see the game, but uh, um, that's okay. I, uh, I didn't have the right pick. Uh, who was it? Professor MJ. Uh, you can go over to that channel. He's fantastic. He had Chicago. That's another reason why I should have went with it. He is a statistics professor, and he does statistics and gives you reasons why you pick certain teams, and every one of them pretty much are dogs. And he's very good at it. If you pick his picks over a year, over time, you're going to make money. Same as mine, too, by the way. If you do these picks over the year, you will be up money, no doubt about it. If you do every pick I do. Uh, predators. We had the Predators. We had the under. Un this was our big bet on Patreon. This was my new series thing I'm doing as my best bet for the day was Wings Predators under, and we nailed it. My second one, I didn't get to Patreon, but it kicks. But it, it's coming and it's on right now, actually. Next game again we had a killer day here we took the lightning ml i was afraid of the stars here um a little bit i was afraid of udobin i don't believe i said this in reg let me go over to my patreon just to make sure i'm pretty sure i ml'd it stars over lightning over stars ml for medium uh and see under under for one unit medium is about two and a half units somewhere around there so uh, 161 and the one unit for the under, what's that, 120, about two units were up on that. Pretty cool. Uh, for, where was I here? Scores, there we go. Uh, okay, the, the game that's on right now, heavy, we like the over, and the over already came in. And then I had Avalanche, in reg, which I don't think would come in, but I had it for small pearls because this Johansson kid was in net from Buffalo. And uh, uh, the the Buffalo announcer there, who I respect a lot, has been doing it for 20 years, even said it when he said this. He said in his 20 years of watching the Buffalo Sabres, Johansson was the worst goaltender he ever saw play for the Sabres. So... There you go. I was a little squeamish about it. It looks like that squeamish was correct. This one was big. Now, we had the under for, like, small pearls, but we had the devils for two and a half pearls. Two, two and a half medium, somewhere around there. Whatever your medium is, we had the devils on this play. I liked the devils. I should have. Sometimes I don't have enough faith in myself I really should have went harder on the Devils here because I really like them. Hart is struggling, struggling, and you know what? Flyers are my team. Are my Flyers and Oilers are my teams, and uh, I still like the Devils there. So, anyways, let's go for the picks for tomorrow, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, Ottawa versus Calgary. I had Ottawa the last time they played, which was two days ago. I picked Ottawa to win that game because Calgary had just come off a tough series against Toronto. And uh, they, you know, flying out east and all of that stuff like that. Uh, they also were playing Gustafsson, Ottawa was. I'm, a, I'm still a little concerned about Gustafsson. However, the main thing about Gustafsson the last game was that... Cal, the te teams don't know about them. Like, they're new. Gustafson is, is probably the future of Ottawa. He's got a lot in the toolbox, but he's still growing as a goaltender. And uh, I, in a perfect world, Gustafson wouldn't be playing here. But they got him uh, in there. I think Calgary, though, did outplay them last game. And I think they'll have a little more of a tape, a little more tape, a little more 
uh, understanding of Gustafsson this game and that they come out on this one. I've got the Flames and Reg. And uh, I'm looking at an over six, but I wouldn't, I'm not, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd put too much on it. Over six in this one. Um, Markstrom hasn't been the, like, fantastic for them, which is kind of scary for the amount of money that they're giving them. He hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been great, great ever since, uh, like, the beginning of the season he did well. I think he got injured for a bit, and ever since he come back, he hasn't been quite the same, so... Wild, oh, and Anaheim. This was a close one last time. Again, Professor MJ had Anaheim to win in that game, and they came darn close. This game, though, there was a lot of reasons for that. They got pummeled twice by the Avs, and I think it shook their confidence a bit. Sometimes you take, like, a breather and go, oh, after having getting shellacked by a really strong team, a team can go, oh, okay, we got an easy team now. And they can kind of, unfortunately, relax a little bit, thinking, you know, we're going to be okay here. Well, they almost lost the last one. So I don't think that's going to happen this time. Uh, now, Manson is back in for Anaheim, which is big for Anaheim. And uh, that is going to really make a big difference for that defense. It, it really is. Um, so... I'm taking, whoa, where is everybody going? Come back here. I'm taking Minnesota, though. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to win this. However, I, you know, I, oh, you know, last time, I, it's not that I did, I took PL, Minnesota PL. And if I would have took in reg, we would have been fine. I am going to go money line, though, I think. Can you go money line and still make money? No, in reg. I'm going to go in reg. Which will pay about 160, 161 or something like that. In reg for large pearls. I really think Minnesota is going to win that, at least in regulation. And I'm going to go over to over five and a half there. Pittsburgh versus Buffalo. Uh, What's the kid's name that they got in goal here? Uh, again, not, he's not a kid anymore. Dustin Tarkovsky. Great story. He's just a very small goaltender. He's very reflex. He's good for the minor leagues. He plays well. But for the NHL, you just can't be that reflex of a goaltender. He's got too many holes. And uh, against a Pittsburgh team that, even though they don't have Malkin, still have a lot of good shooters uh, and play a very aggressive, fast style. Uh, against a Buffalo team that, where are we here? No, I don't want you. Go away. Go away. Against a, a Pittsburgh team that should be very driven, I got to go PL here. And I think the silver is six. I'm probably going to go the over on here too because I do like the way Buffalo has been playing ever since a new coach came in. They have been able, they look like they can score a little bit more. Thing is, Pittsburgh has been playing some low scoring games lately uh, against New Jersey uh, quite a bit, um, focusing on their defense a little more. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. That may change, but for now, I'm going to say over. I think Pittsburgh can score quite a bit on Tukarski. So Buffalo would only really need to get two to make it a push. So uh, if it's 4-2. And I think Pittsburgh could even score more than that. If Malkin was in, forget about it. But uh, I'm going a little bit safer without him being in. Los Angeles versus San Jose. I love the way Los Angeles is playing right now. Um, they've had a rough stretch as far as schedule is concerned. Um, but I do believe they had a little bit of a break recently. Let's just quickly look at what are we at week week nine. Yeah, L.A. Home, home, off. San Jose just had a break. Home, 
home home off San Jose. That's not too bad. I think LA wins this. They, LA can see the prize right in front of them right now. And uh, they're healthy. They've got a lot of great energy going on on that team. They got Dolan Anderson. By the way, watch out for that kid back. Um, so, yeah, I, I think they're pretty driven to win this game. I think they're going to win it. Uh, I'm hoping Peterson is in net. He has been on fire. In which case, I think I have the over here, but I may actually lean the under. I think I, I just think San Jose is going to have a hard time scoring against Peterson. And LA is going to put a lot of pressure on whoever they put in net, which I imagine will be Jones, and he's been playing better. So I'm going to go under. I might even go Los Angeles and reg. What's the money line on that? Uh, oh, they're getting what? They're getting 195? Oh my gosh. That's a fantastic price right there. Okay, Los Angeles. You could even go in reg if you want to really bet it up a bit. Get like 225, somewhere around there. That would be that'd be pretty cool. Winnipeg, Vancouver, tough one because we have no engine. It's Corvat is questionable for tomorrow. If Horvat is not in, I'm taking Winnipeg. If Horvat is in, I may still take Winnipeg. Um, the problem here is Vancouver's relying heavily on Demko, and Winnipeg is just flying. However, Vancouver's at home. They've been playing a lot better. It, it, it's a tough one to pick. I would go, I'm, uh, for now though, I'm going to take the Jets ML and under six. Hollabuck has been playing fantastic too. So, well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. I hope you go over and watch our other videos and uh, hit, the, uh, hit the subscribe and the bell and I will send you a choice. You can have a choice. If you just subscribed, put down in the uh, comment section whether you would like a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, a uh, ring o pearlo, or a uh, uh, Perlo bracelet, one of those three things, and I'll get Helen to just to, to to sew it up for you, and uh, or sorry, what's this sewing? Yeah, sewing, right? Yeah, sew it, sew it up for you, and then they'll pass it to Hernandez or Melissa, and they'll go off to the Perlo copter, and uh, they will send out out to you uh, on like on point, like as soon as they can. I can assure you of that. Because they're fantastic at it. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.